të ndërruar të liqikuës të pasqyrës shqiptare mirë dita. Me gjithë se në verë ditët janë të gjata, java ka lojë shumë shpejt dhe ja ku po takoj misërisht në emisionin tonë të prijafshëm. Materiali kërësor për sot do tjetë Shqipëria turistike e siel në në këndvështrimin e dy vizitorve të huaj, por në fillim pak muzik si dhe intervista me drejtuësin e rritë të shëqatët shqiptaro-kanadeze me kjenë në Toronto. Shqipëria po ndryshon gjithë do ditë, na përkjenë të digjojnë për zhvillime pozitive, por jo gjithmon mediat shqiptare na i përcjelin ato. Të përfshira në pasjurimin e luftës e ashtë për të klasës politike, ato shpesher harrojnë të raportojnë mbi anët pozitive që sielin ndryshimet e më dha sociale, infrastrukturore dhe ato të mentalitetit në Shqipëri. Për vetë natyre në emisionit tonë, si dhe kohën e shkurtër në dispozicion, pasjura shqiptare do të vazhdoj të raportoj më shumë mbi vlerat pozitive shqiptare, por kësa e radhe fjallin e kanë dy vizitor të huaj, të cilët me përshtypjet e tyre na sielin një këndvështrim original mbi vendi që kemi lënë pas dhe që asë një herë nuk e gjemë njësoj kur shkojmë të vizitojmë. I would like to ask you about your expectations when you chose Albania as a destination. Did you have any expectations what you were going to find in Albania, what you were going to see? Basically I had not too many expectations because I didn't know much about Albania. Stefan, who organized the tour, told me for a long time about Albania, so I simply relied on on his experiences, and I was very, very curious to to see the place because, yeah, it was for me um, an unexplored country, so to speak. When you arrived here, you had the opportunity to see archaeological sites, uh, Albanian old towns. So, what struck you most? Nice question, hard to answer. I was very impressed by, by the people. I was also very impressed by the archaeological sites. I saw you were very impressed while you were uh, in Butrin. Mm -hmm. uh, what struck you most there? Uh, I think it was this um, combination of uh, the ancient um, monuments and nicely situated in the nature. And um, that simply blew me over. So, yeah. And I found it very, very romantic there, and uh, I could, I could involve easily. I, I felt like I'm being a part of it or something like this. Yeah. What kind of information did you have about Albania before you came uh, to visit it? I had a few information. My friend Stefan had uh, mir einige Erfahrungen mitgeteilt. I wusste that Albania was an atheist state until 1990 and uh, that the land was very abgeschottet. War. Überall hin, egal ob nach Osten oder nach Westen. And how was the reaction from uh, your friends when, when you said to them, I'm going to visit Albania? How did they react? Einige Leute haben gesagt, oh my God, das ist nicht möglich, dass du da hingehst. Das ist nur Chaos und uh, Mafia. Andere haben gesagt, es ist bestimmt ein ganz interessantes und faszinierendes Land wie der Balkan insgesamt. Und es ist für mich äh, sehr spannend gewesen, diese Erfahrung zu machen, dieses Land kennenzulernen. What struck you most when, when you, now that you completed your trip, what struck you most, what in, impressed you most about Albania? Also ich bin sehr beeindruckt von den, den Menschen hier in Albanien. Sie sind sehr gastfreundlich und sehr, sehr nett und ich habe mich hier sehr wohl gefühlt. Ich war auch begeistert von der wunderbaren Landschaft. Uh, es ist faszinierend, uh, welche Abwechslung es gibt, die Berge, das Meer, die großen Ebenen. Um, wo ich ein bisschen traurig war, war die Situation, wie mit der Umwelt umgegangen wird zum Teil. Ich hoffe, uh, dass uh, die Albaner uh, das begreifen, dass das ein, uh, etwas ganz Wichtiges ist, uh, dass sie eine tolle, ein tolles Land haben und schöne Natur haben und dass sie das schützen. Um, das ist, ist unheimlich, unheimlich wertvoll. 
Wie ne? war es mit dem Essen zum Beispiel? Ja. Äh, hat das Essen geschmeckt? Ah. Die Küche ist wunderbar. Es ist typisch mediterran. Ja, also es war, war alles okay. Ähm, ich habe weniger erwartet und habe mehr bekommen. Ich liebe das, das, das Meer und es war, war eine ganz, ganz tolle Erfahrung. Ich war wirklich begeistert von diesem tollen Fleck Erde. Ja, und ich, ich finde es schade, dass es so viele ähm, oder so wenige Leute gibt, die, die hierher kommen und äh, versuchen einfach auch das Land kennenzulernen. Es gibt sicherlich viele Probleme, aber es ist ganz toll. Und, uh, ein final uh, question regarding your uh Notes. I saw you taking the notes during the trip. Uh, ich habe versucht, viele kleine Momente aufzunehmen, was wir erlebt haben auf der Reise, auf der Straße, was uns begegnet ist, ähm, aus den Gesprächen. Wir haben viel gelacht über die Vergangenheit, über äh, äh, auch, sch auch schwere Zeiten, die heute, heute äh, nicht vergessen werden sollten. Das ist ganz wichtig. Und ich habe es vor allen Dingen auch aufgeschrieben, um es meinen Freunden zu Hause mitzuteilen, dass Albanien ein Land ist, was man gut bereisen kann. generally uh, in Europe and North America see Albania as a dangerous destination. Uh, uh, do you share uh, their view? Uh, no, I don't share their view and I wasn't afraid to go to Albania. Um, some reactions of my surrounding were like that, but um, no, I'm happy that I decided for this trip and I feel very, very safe and uh, I connected very well with the people. I think everybody could feel this energy and willpower to move forward and I think that um, Albania has a big potential there uh, Yeah, and I think the group connected with that as well. Kënktarët Arta Bajrami si dhe Labinot Tahiri në koncert live në Toronto. Më tëtë shtator të prem të nëmbrëmi në Maple Banket Hall në Mississauga. Telefononi bujarin për bileta ose vizitoni faqen internet të kompanisë organizatore Flair Entertainment.